Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, last time I went through Grand Theft Auto Online. If you didn't catch that, don't worry you didn't miss much. <laughs> Hopefully this, this round will be a little bit more entertaining as I kind of have an idea going. Whether that idea pans out is something completely different. But I figured I'd switch consoles today, and instead of playing PlayStation, I would play my Switch. And so, this go around, we're diving into Fate Stella Link, which is the sequel to Fate Stella the Umbral Star. For those of you familiar with the Fate series, you'll recognize some of the characters. As you can see here, there's Nero. Or Saber and uh, Tamemo no Mei as Caster. Uh, and as you know, Fate has this giant universe, I guess you can call it, to itself. So hopefully this will have something y'all can relate to and chat about and all that kind of stuff. But anyway... Uh, on my other Switch that I take with me to, uh, to work, I've already completed the game and everything. I just do the extra battles. Uh, but on this one, I haven't really played it or anything, so I figured we could start a new game and go through the story. Probably won't get much done uh, right now, but we'll just we'll see where it takes us. So. Oh yeah, I have to come up with the name, don't I? Uh, yeah, that's fine. So most of these cutscenes, if I can skip them, I will. Because I've already seen it. And I'm sure you guys aren't watching this for the cutscenes. So... Uh, so just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to what's going on here. So at the end of the Umbral Star, the Moon Cell, Seraph went back to being peaceful and everything. Saber and Caster created their own empires and everything was in harmony and whatnot and uh, I cannot think of her name not she's portrayed as Attila the Hun or at least that's what her past life was uh, she becomes a child now and right now what's happening is the moon cell is activating enemy enemy programs to to attack the both Nero's capital and Tamemo's capital. So that's where we stand right now, and as you can see, I have summoned this guy. Otherwise known as Charlemagne. Altera, that's what her name is. She became a child. And well, yeah. セラフのマスターさん。ええ、わけで、こっから先は俺のターン。目想してやるからかかってきな。せりゃ。やけどするね。取るなの。全軍撃撃。
So this is just basically the tutorial to teach me what to do. All these pop-ups get annoying after a while. There we go. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now, go to the Noble Phantasm. So this is Charlemagne's Noble Phantasm. So now this is where they explain what just happened, yada yada yada. ひととこのに落ち着いているいやそれは良いのあすにもあるはあセミの観察じゃないんですから成長の瞬間を人様に見られるなんてアルテラさんも迷惑だと思いますけどねだいたい皇帝陛下がご行幸を遊ばすと散
my room and then the barracks. The barracks are where all the servants are. If they're not out here, they will be in, in here in the barracks. So we'll go ahead and go to the barracks. So, come here, as you can see, on the third floor you got Charlemagne and Nero, and then on the second floor is Tamemo. If all you want to do is just speak to him, you can come here, and you can converse with them. そんな Okay. I could talk to the other ones, but we're not going to go through that right now. So. Now, unlike the previous game, when you play through the storyline of uh, Link, you can actually choose who you want to play with. So as you go through, you can, you can unlock more servants. And when you beat the storyline through the first timeline, so to speak, you have the ability to play with any, any of the characters that you unlock. If you, but you do have the choice to turn that option off, in which case you'll only be able to use servants that are playable in that scenario. So, once you get to that point in the game, things can become more fun and interesting and all that. So, uh... We'll play as Nero for this next one. And of course you have your Mystic Codes, which is your, your gear that the Master wears. So you can either heal or give other type of buffs to the Servant that you decide to use. And I have a habit of hitting the wrong button. So then you can come here to Customize Servants and you can set their active skills. These are the uh, the abilities that you saw me use with Charlemagne in the, in the tutorial where you hold down R and you can select which attack to, to use in combat. Uh, I haven't unlocked the install skills yet, that'll happen a little later. Then you have the servant gallery, which you can look at the profile, voices, or go to the character viewer. Now what is interesting in this one is, it's grayed out right now, but there is a money is power system. So when you gather a ton of QP, which is the currency for the Fate games, uh, let's say you've been using, in this case, Nero for a majority of the game, and then you finally unlock a character that you want to play with. Instead of having to go back and level grind before you can continue where you left off, you can use that money's power system, pay the fee, and level that character up to match the, uh, the highest leveled character, which can be useful, because we all know what it's like to level grind and how painful it can be. And just like the last one, there's also costumes that you can unlock and 
and dress your character and play with. But for now, we'll just keep Nero in the standard uh, outfit. So, now if you don't want to run around here, you can also go to the pause menu and uh, just select where you want to go. So, you want to go to the strategy room? Voila, we're here now. So here's where you would set up everything to be able to go to into battle. You could choose your support troops, which you get up to two, two characters to pick, as well as side missions, which you complete as you're going through the battle. But uh, we'll get into that a little, a little later. So we'll go ahead and head into battle. Hopefully it will quit with all these pop-ups, because they drive me nuts when I'm trying to do stuff. Alright. So, before every battle you get your little cutscene where they all explain stuff and whatnot. And then you get a little view of the map. There we go. So these are your active skills I was talking about. Other good thing about Link that I wish Umbral Star had a lot on. Because in the Umbral Star, you just had to kind of guess where everything was. You couldn't lock on to anyone except for the, for the boss. Or and it made life very difficult. Now, I can lock on to the aggressor. Ah, I was afraid of that. Okay. Let's see if I can't get something before my drive skill runs out. Yes, that's fine, whatever. There we go. Drive skill. And sometimes that happens. So the point of me activating the drive skill was so I could fill up my my uh, noble phantasm gauge, which that's another improvement that I like about this one. Because the last one you had to find uh, circuits, noble phantasm circuits, and you only got to use your noble phantasm once. So if you used it before the boss, well then you were. You were screwed. <laughs> but now it's a fillable gauge that you can refill it as many times as your heart desires. Pretty much the point of this is like every other hack and slash game like Hyrule Warriors, or Warriors Orochi, any game like that. Beat the shit out of the enemy, and and complete the uh, the objectives that it gives you. So that's basically what we intend. Now a lot of this is probably just fluff, so if, you ha if I haven't done so already, you'll notice that the game will just skip around because nobody wants to watch an hour long video of running from point A to point B. Oh, 
Bane of my existence. Of course, in this game, plants aren't as terrifying. And a blast of plants were, were just a terrible mechanic. Because what plants could do is it could cause aggressors to transport to different sectors. And when they transfer to different sectors, they just create problems. You really couldn't get much done with plants on the field. And my problem was every time I destroyed a plant, two more would take its place. And, and when you're on a time crunch, plants just ruin the whole... Alright, so... As you can see, we've completed the objectives. They're gonna talk amongst themselves now. This is why I wish this game was in English, because I don't like trying to read it and at the same time. But it's whatever. So now Francis Drake is now gonna start trying to, bl to blow the shit out of my my home base or at least try and kill the master so now we have to go make our way down to her and stop her rampage now Kill the gatekeeper before we can do anything else. Let's go ahead and Ah, perfect. We killed the gatekeeper. So now we can make our way to the sector that he's in, or she's in rather. Oh. Ow. Alright, so usually what I do in this situation, as soon as Drake puts the shit out of me, I activate my mobile phantasm and go on. So we took over the sector, we can go back to what we were doing, we got a new objective to do. の
三が水天に天照らすこれ自在にしてみそぎの証なおとめの風神神宝羽化の風神なり<笑>さあ行くぞてください。私の毒は甘くしびれません私がいる戦場こそが形の良しですあなたを新しい生命として還元しますうっうわっ楽しい<笑>エグナムカエロラムエトジェヘナ気づかねえよ我がバッテン電子光の光を示せまだ散るわけにはいかんな。やっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっよ、yes. 
so. Our enemy is Karna. Now what'll happen is we'll get graded and hope for the best. So now we've acquired a new active skill. Now we get install skills. As well as a mystic code for reaching an EX rank. So now, as you can see, there's now a timeline. And you're not locked into the one that you chose. I can come down here and do this one. And you just keep going until you reach day seven. Now it does branch off at some point and do another timeline, but uh, But anyway. And some, okay, extra battle still hasn't been unlocked. But anyway, there's a multiplayer that you can do. You can come here to the gallery and look at all the stuff you have. So like I've unlocked no one. It's these two. Okay, then you have the event gallery, all that. So, so that was Fate Extella Link. Uh, maybe we play this again next time, or I'll probably play a different game next time. I don't know. It's whatever I'm in the mood for. So, hopefully, it was insightful and somewhat entertaining. Other than that, uh, that's it from me. So, have a good rest of your day. And or your evening or morning or wherever it is where you're at. So I'll uh, see y'all in the next one.